So welcome back to the Art of Crochet blog and I've got my cup of coffee oops, in the shot and uh, it's square number 28. Mm. I needed that today. So here we are, square number 28. We've done a chain of seven and then we've um, got 16 double crochets in there and it was really quite hard to get them all in there. I've had to sort of push them round to fit, fit mine in. Um, and this is the last one that we'll do there and then we join it with a slip stitch to the top of the last the first one that we did so we've got our nice ring and now we're going to do some double treble clusters so I'm just going to do the first one here and then we're going to do one of those into each of these double crochets that you've done. So there's 16 double crochets, so we'll do 16 double treble clusters. So we do uh, a couple of chains in between each one and then the idea with clusters uh, is that they you do a sort of half the... So I'm going to stop before I get to that last part. So there's two loops still on the hook and then when I get to this bit, I'll go through all three at the same time. And then two chains. And then we're going to do the whole thing again into the next double treble, going under both bars. Now that's sort of half of the stitch, or the first two parts if you like. One, two, and then go through all three. So you keep repeating that with two chains in between each one as you go all the way round. And we're going to have this lovely uh, tall daisy at the centre of our square. So here we are at the end of our double treble cluster flower and I'm going to do, um, I've done two chains at the end and I'm going to join into the top of that um, that last stitch or the first one that we should do I should say, there we are with a slip stitch there we are, so now we've got our circle and uh, the third round is the one that turns our circle into a square so we start off with um, Oh, let's see what it says. Four chains, one, two, three, four, and then two treble into the same space. So into the main. Uh, so this is, instead of working into the stitch now, we're going to be working into the spaces that were made by those two chains as we went round. Then three treble in each of the next two spaces. So three trebles in here. So that's our side and we're building up to a corner now. And then in the next space, um, there's uh, we go the other way around. So we'll do a three chain for the corner. And then one double treble. And then the two trebles. So there's three stitches in each space. Mostly trebles and then a double treble either side of the corner. So there's our corner there. Uh, and now we're going to do trebles down the next side. So three trebles in this one. And they're not clusters this time, they're just regular trebles. So you don't even have to think about it. And then this is another side and we'll build up to the next corner. So that's one with a double treble, one, two, and then three with, oh no, hang on a sec, this is the next corner, isn't it? So we're going to do two double, two trebles, and then a double treble. There 
There we are. Now I've done the most annoying thing. I always take the yarn from the centre of the ball and I forgot. And this time, look, there's the yarn that was in the centre and I've taken it from the outside. Now the ball's popping around all over the place. And uh, so it just goes to show, don't do what I do, do what I say. Okay, so we're, that's the second corner and another one here and I'll meet you. Here's the beginning of the fourth round and we start off with a three chain in the corner and uh, another treble in that same space. And then we're going to do a treble in each stitch as we go along and again you have to, if you count the number of stitches that there are along that row, uh, you have to start right here um, in order for there to be 12, otherwise you just run out of stitches. So you just do your trebles under both bars. Oh, I've taken a bar with me there. There we are. So just do your trebles under each bar as you go along. So here's the corner and we do uh, two trebles and then two chain and another two treble into that nice corner space. Somehow working into a space is much quicker isn't it? So there we are and then we start again with our trebles not forgetting to go into that very first stitch that doesn't quite look like a stitch at the bottom. Here we are at the end of that last row and we've done two chains and we join with a slip stitch and then we can fasten off. So I'm going to cut the yarn and we can work that in. Not forgetting, of course, to label our square because when it comes to doing all the edgings and joining it up we'll need to know which one is which and I've got memory like a crocheted sieve. So there we are, square number 28. Enjoy.